up YouTube fam? Been a little while, I know. I've been stupid busy lately. Um, I decided I'm gonna tr try something a little bit different. Um, instead of doing like how-to videos and like commentary and showing you my entire workouts, um, a lot of people have been asking about my diet and just kind of like how I go through things and how I plan my time around lifting and you know what I do and things like that. So um, it's Sunday right now. Um, I just went and got all my groceries for the week. Um, I just had some yogurt and granola uh, for breakfast, nothing fancy, you know, with some raspberries in it. Um, and then I'm gonna go right now and get my push day in because tomorrow I'm gonna be working and then I have um, a commercial and a bunch of stuff to do in the evening so I might not be able to lift tomorrow. But um, I think I'm gonna try bringing you guys along and showing you a little bit more about what's going on and uh, see if you guys like the videos. Um, and we'll go from there, so. Best part about working out on a Sunday, look at this. Nobody here. Well, there's a couple cars here, but not very many. Gotta love it. All right, here we are. What? Um, I always like to start with some sort of cardio for like five minutes or so, just to get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing, see how you're feeling, everything like that. So I normally just hop on a treadmill and run a little bit. Sometimes I'll grab a stationary bike and um, blow out my quads. Um, but that's, you know, that's just what I like to do. Um, sometimes when you're like not feeling that great, if you just do a little bit of cardio to warm up, um, it just wakes you up and you feel a lot better. So I'm gonna hit some cardio and then head down for a push day and I'll take you guys through it. All right, what up guys? It's been a little while. So happy to be back on a commentary here for you. Um, I, like I said, I've been really busy, but um, I'm gonna try and record as much as I possibly can on my prep leading up to nationals this year. Um, I'm really excited about it and I, and I have a really good feeling. Um, so I wanna take you guys along for the ride. And you know, it, it corresponds with other people trying to lose weight for summer, uh, you know, get nice and shredded. And for anyone else who wants to learn the men's physique prep, since there's so many people that want to do men's physique now, and I think a lot of people don't want to pay, you know, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars for coaches and stuff like that, when you can just learn that shit online. So um, I'll share what I do. Uh, I don't have a coach. I don't have trainers. I don't have chefs or any nutritionists or anything like that. I just do things my own way. So this was my push day. I'll take you guys through it. Um, I started off with incline bench. I've been wanting to add. Uh, thickness and fullness to my upper chest so I start off a lot of my workouts with incline bench and uh, the best way to do that is on the barbell so go heavy uh, I did I think three sets four sets of incline then I went to Smith machine shoulders since it's a push day that's um, you know chest shoulders triceps so um, I've really been liking the Smith machine shoulder because for me it just seems to target my shoulders more I get way more of a burn in my shoulders you can go a little bit heavier um, and for adding mass, that's what you want to do. You want to go as heavy as you can. So um, I was doing three sets of, I think, 12 to 15 reps. And then on my last set here, I did a drop set. So I did as many as I could in front um, with two 25s on each side. And then I dropped one of the 25s off and went behind my back on this and did as many as I could on that. And um, when I'm doing it behind my back, um, it just targets different parts of the shoulder and so um, with my compound movements I want to try to get as much muscle fibers as possible firing in those shoulders so um, I like to you know vary it as much as possible so I always throw a set or two of behind the head and just be careful with these it's a kind of, it can be a little bit of a weird position that's why I do it as a drop set so I'm using less weight um, you can hurt your lower back you can you know get your spinal cord in a weird position so just be careful with those um, oh god, this is funny. So after that I went to um, incline dumbbell bench press and I just used different varying angles of the incline. But uh, on this set my my nose was itchy, itchy and I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, itch it instead of putting the weights down with my shoulder and uh, yeah, that was very awkward. I almost hurt myself there. Almost My shoulder almost came out of my socket, I think. Um, but then I just hopped back in and finished my sets. So uh, yeah, just be careful guys when you're lifting. Anytime you get out of the normal realm of your lifting movements, uh, weird things can happen. I just had, this was only 65 pounds, but I had absolutely no strength in that position to bring the weight back. And I was like, I'm not gonna try it because I was afraid something might happen to my shoulder. So luckily there was no one around. I could just drop the weights on the floor there. But um, you know, just be careful guys when you're lifting. Um, you know, you lose focus for one second and bad things can happen. So. There you go, but I wanted to show you that varying angles on the bench there. Very, very effective for hitting your chest. 
highly recommend it. I usually start high and then just lower it each, each time a notch on my bench. Um, from there, I went to a shoulder superset, uh, rear delt, which a lot of people are lacking in rear delts. Um, so this is a rear delt raise. You want to try and stay as bent over as possible. I'm only using 15 pounds here. Um, and then from that, I went to a standing lateral raise. And I've been doing my lateral raises a little bit different. Instead of bringing them all the way in front, I've been keeping them out to the side and kind of squeezing my shoulders back a little bit more to activate the, uh, um, the middle head of the shoulder and a little bit of your traps there too. Um, and always tilting the dumbbells down like you're pouring out a pitcher of water. Um, I find I get a little bit more activation that way. So that's a great superset. We did three sets of that, 10 to 12 on everything. From there, I went to, what was it? Oh, um, cable flies. These are really good. Sometimes I'll start off with like a five to 10 second, just isometric hold there and then go through these. Um, I use light weight on these because you can put your shoulders in weird positions on this. So be careful, but make sure you pull the cables a little bit forward and then stick your chest out as you can see I'm doing there. Um, and just squeeze the shit out of the weight when you bring it in. Just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And uh, this will target the hell out of you. I mean, this is a really good shaping exercise for your chest. Um, it's not really going to add mass since it's such a low weight. But it's really, really good for giving that the kind of polished hard look. So give those a shot. They're pretty painful, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, from there, I went to uh, a superset of tricep pushdowns. Trying to keep your chest up, keep your elbows locked, and you know this is one of those exercises I can see I've added a lot of mass to my arms. Um, my arms just went over 16 inches when I measured them the other day, and uh, really, really excited about that. They were about 13 inches last year at this time, so I've added about three inches to my arms in one year. Um, so I'm really, really happy about that. They were a huge lacking point of mine. So. Um, from there, oh, so this was a superset. We did tricep pushdowns, and then we did superset with um, dips. I like to do my dips towards the end of the workout because I can do so many. I don't like doing weighted dips just because it's just very awkward to have you know weights hanging between your legs and stuff like that. Um, but I think I did about 20 or so here, and we only did two sets of this superset. And then from there, um, my calves were looking pretty small to me, and maybe it was an optical illusion. I don't know because they look pretty good on this video, but uh, I just did some calves. This is one of my staple standing calf raises. Honestly, guys, my calves, the reason they look the way that they do is from, it's, up, it's from running, it's from all the hurdling. Um, so, I mean, if you don't know, I was a hurdler back in college at Penn State. So, um, you know, I've been running track and field for 10 years. I ran track and field for about 10 years. I still train almost on a weekly basis. So, um, you know, having spikes on and running, jumping hurdles and stuff like that's going to definitely give you good leg development. Um, and then from that, uh, since my traps, in my opinion, my upper chest and my traps and my arms is what I've been trying to bring up. So uh, ended ended with some shrugs, keeping my shoulders pinned back and squeezing at the top. And um, that was it for my push day. I'm going to show you guys some posing and uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Catch you soon. So there you go, guys. That's uh push day, which is chest, shoulders, triceps, and a little bit of calves in there since the calves are looking small. Maybe that's just the mirrors, I don't know. But uh, now that I'm three months out, I'll start practicing my posing. Normally, honestly, even while I'm lifting and stuff, I pose in between. While I'm lifting, I'm always just practicing like my posing, my transitions, everything like that. So. As I get closer and closer to the contest, I'll start posing more and more and more. So this is three months out. This is how I look. I stay pretty lean year round. That's just how my body is. So I'm not really worried too much about cutting down much more. I really want to stay big and thick and full. So um, especially for nationals, because those guys are a little bit bigger. But practice my routine a little bit. This is my main, this is my most comfortable pose. So this is like my, when they say stand straight on, this is my stand straight on pose. Put all my foot on my right foot, I like turning to the left shirt, my left side. That's my favorite, most comfortable side. From there, my other side, I go here, just like that. I twist a little bit so the judges can see on each side and the crowd as well. 
And then from here, I transition to my back pose. Just this right here. I throw a little bit of variation on it. Right there, like that. And when I come back to here, my comfortable pose. Also, guys, one thing about breathing, I was, and I might do a whole separate video just on men's physique posing, but um, you can tighten your abs while you can still breathe and talk and everything, okay? So you, you don't need to be, there's no difference between this and squeezing it as hard as I can. I mean, it's really not that different. So um, they want you to look relaxed and comfortable and it, it really sets you apart from the other people on the stage. Um, you know, so keep that in mind. Um, also with breathing, I take a breath in between my poses. So when I'm here and I breathe out, take my breath here. Then when I switch to my back pose, I breathe. Obviously here you can breathe as much as you want. And then same thing here, when I set up to my front pose, that's where I take my breaths. So just a little tip there. Anyway, so I'll do a little bit of posing and then uh, I'm gonna go grab a blenders as my post-workout shake. Maybe go for a little beach walk and then I'll take you guys through some food prep. So I'll catch you in a little. All right, so uh, there you go. Picked up a blenders for a post-workout. Uh, I got a red pineapple. It's got, <clears throat> what is it? Strawberries, pineapple juice, I think pineapple sherbet, maybe some pineapple, something like that. Um, and I think bananas too. And uh, got whey protein in there for the supplement. Um, blenders is the shiz, but it's only in like Southern California. I, I think it's only really just around our area, so um, you guys can't get it all over the place. But I'm sure there's other kind of blender places you can get. But um, it's good to have something post-workout, get some carbs, some protein, even some sugar, stuff like that in you. So uh, I'm gonna go for a little walk, beach, and uh, it's gonna conclude this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some meal prep stuff tomorrow. Um, show you how I do it, how you can prep meals without even cooking. Um, and uh, catch you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends. Tell your families.